Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm just going to show you guys some quick editing tips inside of iMovie, including how to change your movie to black and white, how to speed up and slow down your clips, and how to go ahead and put your clip in order to reverse. And I'm also going to show you guys how to go ahead and move around the timeline and stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started into this. So anyway, this is going to require iMovie. I'm going to be demonstrating this inside of iMovie 09 right now, but I think this will work in iMovie 08 too. So anyway, the first thing that I like to do when, when, when I edit an iMovie project is I like to go ahead and I like to have my clip bin up here and I like to have my timeline down here. Uh, I don't know what was up with Apple with making the clip bin up, with the, making the timeline up here by default, but I like to have the timeline down here. So to do that, I go ahead and click on this little icon right here, which will go ahead and switch the timeline to the bottom. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import some media. So I have this clip right here, which is a... Uh, it's a clip from a movie that I uh, did with my friends as uh, basically that's supposed to be Bigfoot in case you guys are watching but we had a really bad costume so it was just him in a sweatshirt with his uh, thing on and if that's not me that's one of my friends so first let's go ahead and let's go ahead and import the clip into the timeline now before I go ahead and start editing the clip I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so let me go ahead and play it for you <laughs> Yeah, kind of a stupid clip, but uh, it's what I have to work with here. So anyway, first of all, let's go ahead and start with um, changing the clip around. So let's say I want to go ahead and uh, reverse the clip. So if I want to reverse it, we go over here and grab the clip adjustments. And then here where it says direction, if we check mark reverse, and we go ahead and click done, it should uh, reverse the clip. which as you noticed it was backwards from the original clip which was up here so anyway if we want to go ahead and redo that we just go down back into clip adjustments and untick reverse now let's say if we want to go ahead and change the speed of it so if I want to put it in slow motion what we do is we go back into the clip inspector and we go here under speed and there's something here with an icon of a turtle and an icon of a rabbit to make it slow just put it in the direction of the turtle so if we do that the timeline gets longer and if we play the video back it goes like that and to speed it up we go ahead and open up clip adjustments again and put it towards the rabbit so if we play that now then it looks like that I'll speed up so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to uh, here in the middle at 100% now let's say if we want to go ahead and change it to black and white we go ahead and click on video effects here and you have the effects for none which is normal you have the uh, let me put it over here. you have the flipped effect which will change the direction yeah, this, which is the raster effect, like here, it the cartoon effect, which makes it look cartoon. You have it look like an aged film right here. Then we also have film grain. You have hard light, which makes it look like it's in hard light. And then here is the day into night, which basically, uh, if it's daytime out, it'll turn it to make it look like it's nighttime. Here we have the glow, which uh, puts in a glow. Then we have it to make it look like that we're in a dream, which is the dream effect. This is called the romantic effect here. Here's the vision. I can't pronounce that effect. Use the uh, bleach bypass effect. Here's an old world effect. An effect for a heat wave. A sci fi. Here we go, black and white. And there's sepia, negative, and x ray. But right now I'm going to go ahead and choose black and white and click done. And then as you notice, the clip is in black and white. And so that's pretty much it. This is some really quick iMovie tips right now on how to go ahead and move the timeline around, how to go ahead and reverse clips, and also how to go ahead and change the video's effect. So anyway, this has been a really quick video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.